Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I have a TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul for you today. And I'm so excited because I found so much good stuff. It's not even funny. Um, and this is not a, um, a one trip, I bought all this stuff kind of thing. This is like something that I've been collecting for a couple of weeks but you can still get all this stuff like now remember with TJ Maxx and Marshalls if you see something and you like it you better grab it because it's not going to be there the next time that you come you know it might be weeks before you see it again so um that's how things work at TJ Maxx and Marshalls so if you like something better go grab it but it doesn't mean that you're not going to ever see it again like you know I've I've come across things that I might not want to buy at that time and then I come back weeks later and you know it's still there even though I haven't seen it in a while but it might come back you know you know what I'm trying to say um so I have a lot of stuff and I'm so excited because it's stuff that I've been wanting forever but I didn't want to spend you know the full price that some of these things cost because some of these things are expensive um and i was so happy that i found them at tj maxx and marshall's for less for way less than they actually cost so it's going to be a big one so i'm sorry if this is a long video but if you're like me i enjoy watching what other people find at tj maxx and i have to run and get some of the stuff that i see some of these people you know finding and i pray and hope that i find them too because sometimes not all tj maxx and marshalls carry the same stuff so, oh, let's just get started. I did find a lot of stuff and I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing that I found, which you can find all the time, is not something that is name brand or something. You can find it all the time. I always see it. Um, is this uh, Unicorn Glitter Oil Serum. And this is what it looks like. And the packaging is so adorable. And this was $5.99 at TJ Maxx. And I've been using that since I got it. I mean, you can see that I've used quite a bit. Um, and I really do like it. It leaves my skin very moisturizing. And the glitter, you can't even see it. So if you're worried about glitter and stuff, um, you can't even see it once you put it in your face. So that's the first thing I found. I also found something that I've been eyeing. Every time that I go to Walmart, I eye this item, but I don't want to spend the amount that it costs. I know it's cheap because it's... it's you know it's um drugstore but i just i can't make myself buy it at full price but i found it at marshall's and it's this uh physician's formula uh bright booster oil elixir and this is what it looks like and i got it for $3.99 and i think this is like $12 at walmart or something like that so i was really excited to find it at marshall's for that price um and I've been I've used it a couple of times and it's a little bit more of a sticky um, thicker formula than the unicorn oil so sometimes I prefer to use this one because it's a little lighter in the skin I don't really want something that's gonna leave it you know tacky and stuff I like to wear my oils at night when I go to bed um, sometimes I wear them under my makeup not all the time but I do prefer to wear them at night before I go to bed I also found this um, Elizabeth Arden, and I'm sorry that I'm going to be mixing TJ Maxx and Marshall stuff, but uh, I mean they're owned by the same person, or by the same brand, um, you know, it's the same store, it's just different names, but I'm just going to be grabbing because it's a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to be grabbing and taking out, um, but I'll let you know where i find you know where the location of this item that i found was from so i found this one at tj maxx it is elizabeth arden pure finish mineral tinted moisture cream with spf of 15 and i got this one for 6.99 and elizabeth arden is an expensive brand um and I really wanted to try this because sometimes I don't really want to wear foundation, but I kind of want to hide some of my pro problem areas. So I thought that this might be something good for that. It is in the color medium. And I opened it the other day thinking that, you know, because sometimes when you buy a moisturizer, um, it's lighter than what it actually says. This one is... It's a medium color. It's kind of dark on my skin, but I figure if I mix it with something, it um, 
might be a little lighter and I can use it. So yeah, I picked that up. Um, I also picked up the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation in the color tan. And I picked this one up at TJ Maxx for $12.99. Um, again, I got mine in the color tan, and at the time, they didn't have anything lighter than this, and I really wanted to try this, so I bought it, and I'm like, let me just mix it with another foundation that I have that is too light for me, and then I'll, you know, make my own shade, and that's what I've been doing. I actually mix it with the next items that I'm about to show you, um, and I make the perfect shade for me, so I'm not mad at the fact that I picked up a tan color. Um, so that's what I got, and then I picked up two of the Cover FX um, custom cover drops, and this is what I've been mixing with the Vecca foundation to um, make my perfect shade. And I picked up N25 and N50. One is really light, and one is a little bit darker. And I wanted to pick both of these up for the lighter foundations that I have that are too light for me, and then for the darker foundations that I have that are a little too dark for me. And I can make my perfect col uh, color. Now, I was so excited to find these because these are expensive. These are very expensive at, at Ulta or um, Sephora. And I got them for $6.99 at Marshalls. So, that was a really good find. Actually, I got one for $7.99 and one for $6.99. I hadn't even seen that. Oh my God. And they're both from Marshalls. You see how they play with us sometimes when it comes to pricing? You have to be careful. You have to be really looking at that. Okay, moving on. Um, I found this um, Becca Glow on the Go uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. And it comes with a, um, a you know, a highlighter. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. Okay, it comes with a highlighter and a liquid highlighter. Now, the Rose Gold is a little bit dark for me, but I figure, you know, I can mix it with another highlighter, or I can even use it as eyeshadow. And, I mean, this is usually $20, and I got it for $9.99, so you can't beat that. You see how it's a little dark? It's a little too dark for my skin, but I can mix it with a lighter one, or I can use it as eyeshadow. And the liquid one is not too bad. It's actually pretty kind of light. So I'm not mad at it. Because once you blend it out, once you blend it out, it turns kind of sheer. So I figure, you know, under foundation, that will be nice. And then you put your regular highlight on top of that. So I'm not mad at this kit, even though it's a little darker for me. Um, and then I picked it up for $10, which is half the price of what it originally cost. So I'm definitely not upset about it. So I got that. I also picked up this Locket Brightening Powder by Kat Von D. And I got mine in the color Petal. And I got this for $7.99 at TJ Maxx. And it's so cute, it's so adorable, it's tiny, it's really tiny, and I've used it, and I really love how it leaves my under eyes, it really brightens it. So, I was really excited to find this. Um, I've been wanting to try her foundations and her, you know, eye stuff, so I was excited that I found this for a cheaper price than it actually costs. Then I found another Kat Von D item. I found, I'm sorry that I can turn this one, but this is where I have all my stuff. And I can't pick it up because, guys, it's a lot. Like, when I tell you that it's a lot, it's a lot. Okay, so I picked up this um, Shade and Light Blush in the color Mickey and Mo Malori. Once a darker shade and once a lighter shade so those are the shades up there and this is what it looks like I don't think that I've used this yet I got it at Marshalls for $7.99 oh no I haven't used it yet and this is what the colors look like and I really like it because you can use you know them separately or you can swirl it and use them together and come up with a unique shade so I really like that I was excited to find that actually <laughs> I was like a crazy person you know shouting in the store when I found that because that was on my um, 
list of things that I'm on my wish list of things to find at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Marshalls. Oh my God, I can't even talk today. Okay, moving on. Um, I found this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio and I got mine in Cocktail Party and I got it for $9.99. Now I know that I've been seeing people finding it for $10.99 and even $11.99. I don't know if they're picking up the price of this stuff because I found mine for $9.99. So again, like we have to be very careful even though things are cheaper than, you know, regular stores. We have to be careful with looking at the prices because sometimes they miss price stuff or, you know, sometimes you see an item like this where one was $6.99, one was $7.99 and of course the cashier person is not going to say anything so we have to keep an eye out on that stuff so I got mine for $9.99 and this is what it, what it looks like and I really like these shades believe it or not like I really enjoy these shades they look so pretty on the skin even though they look dark if you're if you have a light hand they look really nice on your skin. So I was afraid for the longest time to use um, shades like that on my skin because I thought that, you know, it might look too dark or it might look like bronzer instead, but it actually looks really nice if you're light with your hand on it. So I was excited to find those. And then two of the items that I was so excited to find, and when I saw that people were finding these, I freaked out. I freaked out and I had to run to the store because I was like, I've been wanting these since they came out. I own the palette and I couldn't afford to get anything else. So you know I was excited when I found these. They are the Too Faced Lives in Fantasy collection. I got the Rainbow Strobe Highlight for $12.99 which the packaging is so adorable I'm in love with this product like it's so pretty I can't even like make myself use it because I just want to like look at it all day um, I found that and I also found the iridescent mystical bronzer which you know if I didn't find the highlight I would have been sad but if I didn't find the bronzer I would have been devastated because I really, really love this bronzer. It's super adorable. It's so cute. I can't believe that I found these. And the bronzer was also $12.99. Um, I did buy the palette um, when it first came out. And I was so bummed because I could only afford to get the palette. And I was like, oh, I can't get anything else. But um, I was so excited when I found them. And I found them at Marshall's for $12.99. Along with that, I also found the Unicorn Tears Mystical Effects Highlighting Stick in Unicorn Tears. I don't know if I said that already, but um, this is what the packaging looks like. It's so pretty. I'm in love with this highlight. I haven't used it yet, but the packaging and everything is just so beautiful. Um, I couldn't find the other one. I can't remember what it's called, um, but the one that comes with this one, the one that's like a pink color, I couldn't find that one anywhere, and I was so sad because I kept seeing people finding it online, and I couldn't find it myself. I never found it. I'm hoping that I still someday, you know, out of the blue, find one, but so far I have not, and I got this one at TJ Maxx for $9.99, so I'm on the lookout for the other one. Um, I also found two of the lip glosses and now I didn't want to get I also found the lipsticks but I wasn't really interested in the lipsticks um I really like to wear lip glosses so when I found those those were the ones that I wanted to pick up so I found the mermaid mermaid tears and the fairy tears lip glosses I also found the unicorn tears but I already owned the other one and the other packaging so I didn't want to pick up you know a second one I don't really need it um and I could never find the angel tears one so I'm on the lookout for the pink highlighter and the angel tears lip gloss I'm hoping that someday I can find them but for right now I have the mermaid tears which looks like this it's so cute 
and the fairy tears which is my favorite i have to say it's so cute the packaging is just adorable um but yeah i'm on the lookout for the rest of the stuff that i couldn't find and that would complete my collection for the life's a festival um when that collection came out i was so excited oh my gosh i loved everything that was in it i am a sucker for packaging and for pretty things and for glitter and all that stuff so i was so excited when that collection came out um okay so moving on i found this maybelline new york um the city kits urban light eye cheek eye oh, eye cheek palette and this is what it looks like and i got it for 2.99 now this at the store is over ten dollars so for 2.99 yes um i haven't played with it but the colors look really pretty i did touch a few of them and they're very nice and soft um, I wouldn't use the blush. They're saying that this is a blush. I wouldn't use that as a blush because it's too glittery, but that's kind of what it looks like. I don't really like shiny um, blushes on my face, although rubbing it, it looks like the glitter is just a top coat, but um, it's still a bit shiny. I don't know. I will have to put it on my cheeks and see how I feel about it, but I'm not a fan of glittery blushes or any of that. So we'll see. Um, another exciting find was the Too Faced Pure Gold Ultra Fine Face and Body Glitter. So this is what it looks like and I got it at TJ Maxx for $4.99 and I was so surprised that this was $4.99 because this product is like over $20 I think. So for $4.99, yes, I was for sure going to pick it up. I have the palette that came out with this collection and I really enjoy it so I was happy to add this to my collection as well. Um, I also found a couple more Too Faced stuff. I found two of the Lip Injection Glossy Glosses um, and I got them at TJ Maxx for $6.99 and I got Let's Flamingo and Angel Kisses so I was excited to pick those up. I have the original one and I really enjoy it. I also found a few more um, Kat Von D items. I got these um, Everlasting Glimmer Veil Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I got them at Marshalls for $7.99. I got two at Marshalls for $7.99 and one at TJ Maxx for also $7.99. And I got the colors Rocker, which is like an orangey red. I got the color Wizard, which is a black, and I got this color actually for um, for Halloween uh, because I wanted to be Frankenstein, so I thought that adding a little bit of glitter into my lips would be nice, but I, I ended up not using it. And I also found the color um, Dazzle, which is like a true red, and they're all glittery, um, and they're very pretty, they're long-lasting. Um, yeah, they're, you know, they're not um, see-through or anything. They pack a punch when it comes to color. So I was excited to find those. I love Kat Von D items, so of course I had to pick them up. Um, I also found a Buxom full-on lip polish in the color Alyssa. And this is what it looks like. And I wore this one time, and I love this lip gloss. It's so beautiful i love it and it's very like glittery but it's not chunky glitter or anything you can't even like feel it and it does give you a little bit of a plump sensation and it smells like mint so i was so excited that i found this and i got it at tj maxx for 3.99 i mean these lip glosses are like 20 bucks aren't they so to find it at tj maxx for 3.99 yes so i got those um, another exciting thing that I found is this um, Kevin Kwan lip color in the color Lijana. I don't know, something like that. And I got it at TJ Maxx for $7.99. This is Kevin Kwan. This is expensive stuff, you guys. I mean, I haven't even picked up their highlighting palette that they have at TJ Maxx because it's 20 bucks, and I can't bring myself to spend that much money. But $7.99 for a lipstick? Yes, and the packaging is so nice. It's magnetic, and the color is so pretty. I love it. I love it. 
I love going to TJ Maxx and Marshalls because you can find so much good stuff for so good prices. I mean, can you tell that I'm excited? Okay. I also recently found this Cargo Cosmetics Swimmable Eyeliner Trio. And it comes with three different eye colors. And they're small. They're not like full size. But it says they retail for $18. And I got mine for $4.99 at TJ Maxx. And I wanted to pick these up because I love to add a little bit of color. Like today, I have a little bit of blue um, under my eye. And um, I did a look. I did a video on this look. I used the e.l.f. Modern Metals collection. So if you want to check it out, it should be already up by the time this video is going. Um, so I will link it below if you guys want to see how I got this um, makeup look. But I did want to add a little bit of color so I added a blue in there so I thought that this would be fun to have because it comes with like a red color it comes with this really nice like blue greenish um like glittery eyeliner and then it comes with like a, a brown one yeah so it comes with a purple a blue and a brown so I wanted to pick these up for that reason because I just like to add a pop of color on my eyes. And it's closed on both sides. That's another thing that you have to be very careful when you go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls is that you have to look at the makeup. You have to open it, look at it because people tend to touch it. I know, it's disgusting. I hate it. I hate that people do this. But um, yeah, just be careful with the stuff that you want to buy. Look at it, open it, make sure that it hasn't been touched because people like to mess with the makeup and that's not cool. Um, okay, so moving on, I found this um, All That Glitter Cargo Cosmetic Eyeshadow Palette and this is what it looks like and I got mine for $7.99 at TJ Maxx and these are all the colors that it comes with and this was also closed and that's the reason why I bought it was because it was closed all around. It didn't look like anybody had messed with it or anything. Um, and I got it because it reminded me of the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. I own that one too and I wanted to see if this would be similar to that but it's not, it's not chunky glitter like the moon dust is. It's actually very pretty. And these are the colors. I haven't used it yet. But those are all of the colors. And I really like them all. So I was happy to find this palette. It was the first time that I had seen it too. Um, I see a lot of cargo cosmetic um, palettes when I go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But none of them ever call my name, you know. Except for this one. This one really did. So I was excited to pick that one up. You guys, we're like halfway done, okay? <laughs> I know, it's a lot. Um, some exciting finds. I was so excited when I found these. I was so excited. Okay, so these two I found a couple of weeks ago. And this is the um, Lipstick Queen Frog Prince Lip Gloss, and I got it at Marshalls for $7.99, and I found this one, which is the Lipstick Queen Hello Sailor Lip Gloss uh, for $7.99 as well, and I remember when these came out and everybody on YouTube was talking about them, I wanted to buy them so bad, but I did not want to spend the over $20 that these cost. So I just held on and held on and held on and held on. This is the packaging. It's so adorable. And I was always on the hunt for them, I remember. Like, I would look for them on Black Fridays and I would, like, you know, on sales and things like that. But I could never find them cheaper than the original price. And then when I found these... Oh my god, I freaked out. I was so excited. I was like, I can't believe that I found these at TJ Maxx for $7.99. I had to pick them up. And then last week, when I went to Marshall's with my mom, they had this little guy right here. Yes, this little guy right here. I bought the lipstick, um, I think it was last year on an Ulta sale they had going on and I got it for $10 and this lipstick I think it's like 20 or $21. I got it for $10 on sale But then I saw this kit at Marshall's and it was $14.99 and it comes with blush I've always wanted to try the blush so I was like I need to pick it up and the lipstick is more like a lip balm so 
I don't care if I have two of them because I really, really like it. And I've been looking for this one too. I believe this kit is like $25 and I could never like get myself to spend that money. But $14.99, yes. So I was so excited when I found this kit. Okay, so then I found two more exciting items. I found these um, cat. Katy Perry CoverGirl lip glosses and it comes with body glitter. Now I was a little bit disappointed because I thought that you could use these like on your eyes but it says not to, that it's not safe, it's not eye safe. Uh, so I don't know. I'm a little disappointed by that but maybe if you're careful you can still use them on your eyes. Mm, not sure. But I got mine in number one nine life and number two catalope and one is a red and one is more like a nude and i was really excited when i found these because at the store they're like $8.99 and i found them for $2.99 and it comes with a little glitter so that was a good find i was i was excited to find those um i also found another lipstick queen um lipstick and this one is called eden and this is the packaging, it's so pretty, and I believe this is a red color if I'm not wrong. And even the packaging, so adorable. Yeah, it's a red lipstick, and I love red lipsticks, so I had to pick this one up. And this one was $5.99 at TG Maxx. I mean, that's crazy. That is crazy. I've seen some uh, Lipstick Queen really cool packaging lipstick. Uh, lipsticks at TJ Maxx and they're still kind of expensive so I was excited that I found this one for $5.99. Um, I also found a Too Faced Peach Kiss Moisture Matte Longwear Lipstick and I got it in the color Sure Thing. Um, I Again, like when this line of the peach stuff came out from Too Faced, I was so excited and I really wanted to pick stuff up but I just can't bring myself to spend all that money on, you know, makeup. So, I was so excited when I found this one at TJ Maxx for $6.99. So, I picked up this nude color. Um, they had a nude and they also had like a red color when I found these. But, I have so much red and not enough, you know, nudes that I just kind of wanted to pick up a nude color. So, I went with sure thing i'm hoping that i find more i see that people are, have been starting to find them again so maybe i'll find some more and pick up some more colors but for now that is the only thing that i have um i also picked up a couple of things here i picked up this max studio eyebrow maintenance kit and it comes with a little um scissors and a little you know brush for your eyebrows and I needed something like this because I'm always losing my scissors <laughs> so I picked up another one and I got this one at Marshalls for $3.99 which I thought was a good price and I also found this little um eyebrow uh, eyeshadow eyebrow, eyeshadow um brushes and it's like bamboo style and it comes with two double-ended brushes and I got this for $3.99 at TJ Maxx and I was looking for um, a little bit more of eye, eye brushes because I don't have a lot so I'm trying to slowly build my collection on um, eye brushes so I picked those up and another exciting find oh I found another one of the Katy Perry CoverGirl lip glosses and this one's saying kitty karma and it's like a hot pink and the glitter is like a silver but it it's like a silver gold type of situation and it's also $2.99 and I found it at Marshalls and then another exciting find I found the Stilla shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadows I said that kind of wrong, <laughs> kind of weird. Okay, so I found the Glitter and Glow Shimmer Eyeshadows. And I have, let's see, I have three of the eyeshadows and I have one of the highlighter. But I wouldn't use this as a highlighter unless I'm going to like a party or something because it's very glittery. So that kind of makes me confused as to why they would call these highlighters. But anyways, um, the three eyeshadows that I got are Freedom, Sea Siren, and Boheme. 
and these are the colors right here freedom sea siren bohem and i got them at tj maxx for $6.99 and the highlighter i got at tj maxx for $7.99 and it's in the color painted lady which is like a pink and they also had another one which was like a green color but i know that i'm not going to use that one too much so i didn't pick it up so that was very exciting um i've used one of them and they are beautiful they stay on they don't you know go all over your face they're just they're just beautiful i really 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 love them um i also picked up this uh, bc beauty concepts highlighter this is what it looks like and i thought it was so adorable and i have used one if you guys go back a few videos to a tj maxx haul that i did um i tried on one of their highlighters and it was like in a in a mermaid type of situation and it was blinding it was beautiful so i wanted to try this one out and see what i thought of it too um, I also found this, which I have been looking for for a while. It's the Butter London Blush Clutch, and this is what it looks like. And I got it at TJ Maxx for $7.99, and it's really cute. I love it. I enjoy it a lot. Um, when people were finding it, I was like, I need to go look for it. I need to find it, and I did. I was so excited. And I saw that they also have like a bronzer one, but I haven't been able to find that one. But as soon as I find it, you bet I'm gonna pick it up. So this is what it looks like, and I already touched that one. <laughs> but again, you guys have to be careful. Make sure that you look at all your makeup because makeup at TJ Maxx tends to be swatched by people. Another thing that I found was this um, Butter London Glacin Eye Gloss, and I got it in Spark, and I got it at TJ Maxx for $6.99. I've never used anything like this before, but I remember when these came out and everybody was talking about them, um, and I haven't used anything like this before, so I only wanted to pick up one. I found a couple of other colors, but they were very similar in color, so I didn't feel the need to pick up all of them, so I just picked up one. And I know Spark is one that I'm going to use a lot. So I was glad I found that. A very exciting find. Oh my gosh. I found an Estee Lauder Pure Color Love Shine Liquid Lip Lip Gloss in the color Love Shine. Oh, in the color 301 Burning Kiss. That's the color. And I got it at TJ Maxx for $7.99. And it's really pretty. I tried it on the other day and I really liked it. It's like a lip gloss, so it's not as bright as it looks on the on the bottle, but it's still very pretty, and I really liked it. So I was excited to find that, and I also found this Buxom Big Tease mascara, and I got it at TJ Maxx for five ninety nine, and I'm excited because I don't wear um, falsies. Um, my lashes are naturally really long, so I don't feel the need to wear lashes, but I'm always in the lookout for a nice, you know, plumping mascara, so I was excited to find that. I also found another of the um, Lipstick Queen uh, lipsticks, and possessed a metal and I got it at TJ Maxx for $6.99 and the packaging is so adorable it looks like a um a dragon that's what it looks like and when I pick up the lipstick queen lipsticks I always try to find like interesting packaging I don't like just their regular normal packaging I try to find like cute you know little packaging so this is also like a purplish color and I love these types of colors so I know I'm gonna use it and I like the packaging so why not $6.99 and I also found this um, new brand I've never heard of it before but it says it is an Australian brand it's called Red Earth and I got this secret, secret potion illuminating loose powder in the color pearl so it's like a loose highlighter so it's pretty big, and I only paid $3.99 at TJ Maxx, so I was curious about this brand, because I've never heard of it before, and they had a, a lot of other things too, not just 
loose highlight. They had um, powders and things for your face. Um, and even though it says that it's an illuminating highlight, it doesn't really look like a highlight per se. It's not very highlighty, if that makes sense. Uh, maybe it's something that I can put like under my eyes to make them look more bright. Mm, we'll have to play with it and see. But I was just intrigued by it because I've never heard of this brand before. Um, and it was cheap too, so I was excited to find that. And I found one more thing that I have it on my stand over here, so I need to grab it. Give me one second. Okay, so the last thing that I found, which was also very exciting for me, was this um, Cocoa Powder Foundation by Too Faced in the color Medium, and it's what I have on today, and I really love this powder. I'm in love with it. I think it's one of the best powders that I have, and it smells just like chocolate. So I was excited to find this, and I got it at TJ Maxx for $10.99, so... Yeah, guys, that was my haul of uh, TJ Maxx and Marshall's things. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please subscribe. Hit the little bell to get notified of when I upload my videos. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to build my, you know, my channel, and um, I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I upload and will be uploading. So, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys on my next video.